Let's find out what Tim Pool has to say about Dogecoin. Dogecoin could save the world. Probably not actually, but it's worth discussing. Pump and dump. Pump and dump on a meme coin. Let's find out. Let's find out what Tim Pool has to say about Dogecoin. This next story, um, I think you're both wrong. I think Dogecoin is incredible. I think, I think Dogecoin <laughs> is... No, you're incorrect. It's Dogecoin. You want to know why you're wrong? Dogecoin. Dogecoin has just made a bunch of people who don't pay attention pay attention. And no, it hasn't. No, it fucking hasn't. Nobody knows anything. Dogecoin is a literal meme. I bet that Tim Pool couldn't even explain how Dogecoin works. If in the end they trade Dogecoin for Bitcoin, it's 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 better. Isn't it? No, I, I've, you don't I've been, in this, I've been in this business for ten years, and and uh, no one knows more about it than I do. And it's uh, <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Um, it's a gateway drug to getting wrecked. So people think that they are smart enough to trade altcoins in a way that they're going to get more Bitcoin, or they're just going to be in it for a minute. And but the fact is that once you step away from Bitcoin, you're entering the gambling casino. Right. So it's the same. No, it, no, wrong, dude. You're still in the gambling casino with Bit, Bit, Bitcoin. Um, I'm sorry. How do I get the big version of this graph? How do I get the big version of this graph? Do, 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 do. Yeah, no. Nah. Can you imagine buying in at 56,000 and your thing tanks down to 36,000? Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like Bitcoin is just as much, just as stupid as everything else. Dude, Bitcoin idiots, I fucking love, listen, I, I love to hate Bitcoin idiots. Bitcoin idiots are God's gift to the planet because, no joke, if you. If you meet a Bitcoin idiot, you will learn so much just from talking about them. You will learn about what it means to be a mark. You will learn about what it means to be hopelessly naive. You will know, you will learn what it means to, uh, what you will get an idea of what it means to basically gamble away your family's savings on nothing, on imaginary money. Do you guys remember the argument I had with the Bitcoin idiot who came in here and was like, oh, 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 you say that you, you said that um, if the government made Bitcoin illegal, it would cause it to tank, making Bitcoin investors lose all their money. But huh, huh, the government made weed illegal. And then I said, can you smoke a Bitcoin? Can you get high off of a Bitcoin? Can you hold a Bitcoin? Can you buy anything with a Bitcoin? No, you motherfucking can't. You motherfucking can't. They're magical space money that it was designed to fucking as like a fucking proof of concept that didn't even work. And now there's a bunch of speculators ripping each other off. If cryptocurrency is bad, then why did I pass my AP computer scientist when I wrote about Bitcoin? <laughs> Checkmate, Bitcoin, Bitcoin um, deniers. Yo, that's great. You can only get high on Bitcoin. Yeah, you have to grind it up real tight. If you ever go to Vegas and you go across the, the, the room with all the slot machines and you ask 100 people how, if they're winners in Vegas, the 100 people say, yeah, I win all the time. I'm a big winner. What? What? Listen, hold on a second here. Oh, boy. Listen, let me need a minute here. It's time. It's time for hair down, mama. Okay? It's time for hair down, mama. Okay? Hair down, mama. It's hair down, mama time. Okay? Listen. It's that part of the stream. Okay? I really can't wait to get my hair done. Holy shit. I need to get my hair done. I should do that. Maybe I should try to get that done tomorrow. I wonder if I'd be able to get it tomorrow. We'll see. They're sitting there with a smoke and a cigar, you know, with threadbare, with nothing to, on their back. And they're like, I've been winning in this for years and years. Because the gambling mentality is such. You, you convince yourself that you're, you're going to win at this gambling thing. So that's number but one. I, I do. And number two, the, the problem. Wait. I'm sorry. With all due respect, listen. Look. This guy's wearing a generic brand shirt. This dude looks haggard as fuck. 
who's he to be ta saying anything about anybody? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy to be making fun of anybody? This guy's wearing like budget brand ass shit. Looks like he's about to fucking pass out. He's wearing Columbia. It's like a fucking generic brand bullshit, isn't it? Isn't Columbia like the dollar store brand that sold it like dollar stores? Projects themselves suck. Uh, they're all centralized garbage. Bitcoin is decentralized. It's a big difference. Boom, 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 boom. Let's find out what what let's find out. So let's see. <clears throat> oh wait. <laughs> wait a minute. It's all the fucking billionaires. Hold on a second. All of the people who hold the most Bitcoin are holders. Uh, are, are, are already billionaires. They're already billionaires. And the creator of Bitcoin. Hmm. Winklevoss Capital. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, isn't it? How strange. How strange that a bunch of billionaires are the biggest ones. Super decentralized, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see. Most popular Bitcoin exchange. Binance. Oh, 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 uh oh, wait, wait, Binance, wait a minute, hold on a second, wasn't Binance one of these? Oh, weird, the biggest Bitcoin exchange is a bank owned by the number four Bitcoin holder in the world, uh oh, hold on a second, let's check that again, oh, oh, I'm sorry, let's see, wait, let's, let's do that again, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> Bitcoin exchanges. Here we go. Largest crypto exchanges. Here we go. Wait, wait. Bitcoin. I want the Bitcoin one. Bum, bum, bum. Ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da 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 So here we go. So we got Binance. We got, uh, this is cryptocurrency in general. I want to see the one that's just about, where's the one that's just about Bitcoin? Here, I want, I want this. Where's my fucking Bitcoin info? Biggest exchange is Binance, right? Bitcoin.com. Let's find out. All right. So we got Binance. We got this website itself. We got Bitforex. We got BitMEX. We got BitZBW, Changely, Change Now, Coinbase. Coinbase, which is owned by Microsoft. Hey, Coin Mama. Okay, that's based. Coin Mama. I like Coin Mama. This is a great name. Great branding here. Never mind. I support Bitcoin now. I support Bitcoin now. Never mind. I support Bitcoin now. Fuck it. They, they, they appealed to me successfully. All right, everybody. Start donating me your Bitcoins. Okay? By the way, just so you know, one of the biggest and most popularly used uh, Bitcoin exchanges is literally owned by Microsoft. Bitconnect. Wait, you have at least four bitcoins, Glooby. That means you're up. You. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought if you said you had four bitcoins, I would have lost my shit because you'd be rich as fuck. Your bitcoin is magical. Okay, listen, girl boss, Marcy, always chat. Can we get a little chant going of always be girl bossin? Always be girl bossin. Always be girl bossin. That's what I believe in. I believe in always being girl bossin. Okay? Always. A G B G. Oh, I mean A B G B. Always be G girl bossin. I'm fucking it up. I'm sorry. Seriously, though. Girl boss Marcy. You deserve it. You did fucking good. You were funny as shit. One thing I will tell you, girl boss, one thing I will tell you, even if you got good burns, be careful about interrupting when the rules say not to. But you did a great Rob was so butt hurt, it was obvious. Everyone watching could tell that that Rob was was so butt hurt. I can't even believe it. That guy was molding so hard. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Silent. What do we got here? Uh oh. Silent. <laughs> Good morning, slurp peeps. Are we getting that slurp today? <laughs> nice. Nice. You deserve. By the way, you deserve the hype train. And I hope you get. I hope people will check out your channel and stuff. You're making an NFT of a hot, hot tub demon mama drawing? Listen, someday I will do a hot tub stream, but it'll be really late because I'm poor as fuck. Let's continue. Let's continue talking about Tim Pool's shitty ass takes on cryptocurrency. Let's continue, okay? Um, and it, you can't compare the two. It, it is. It's, it's, I'm not saying Dogecoin technologically or their infrastructure, or their code. I'm saying a bunch of regular people, young people who had no interest at all in any capacity with cryptocurrency. All of a sudden now the door was opened to... The door is open and they don't know shit. D B Dogecoin is a joke. Dogecoin is literally a joke. It was literally made as a joke. At least walking into the room. And if at the end of it, 10% of the people or 1% of those people who normally would never be involved are like, I'm going to buy Bitcoin with it because that, that's, that's, the, that's the real asset. So they bought some Dogecoin as a joke. It went up. They went, whoa, they sold it. Then they you know, got Bitcoin instead. Isn't it better than well, people it's are like, it, Bitcoin it? Is, is the house and everybody else are the, are the chumps on the floor. So I own Bitcoin. If somebody wants to, to go into the speculative world of gambling on douche coins uh, and ultimately all that capital, the, the size of the market is expanding, right? So it's a two trillion plus. And that means that ultimately more money will flow into Bitcoin. Bitcoin right. goes through... Some Bitcoin, it's always raising. Bitcoin, all oh, Bitcoin, 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 all oh, Bitcoin, it's the real deal. All oh, Bitcoin, it's gonna keep growing. It's never gonna stop. Oh God, it's never gonna stop. Oh my God, it's, oh no. Scott, these people, they're all fucking con men. They're all fucking con men. Every last one of them. Dude, Bitcoin idiots are my favorite. I fucking love Bitcoin idiots so goddamn much. Michaels, and right now it's going sideways and it's building a base and then it'll make a big leap again. And then you'll see a rotation out of all these altcoins into Bitcoin. Uh, and, and a lot of people will get wrecked. And, and also so, when you're trading in those altcoins, there's all kinds of tax liabilities you have to be aware of. Absolutely. Uh, there's just, it's just, it's not worth it instead of just well, hodling. No, 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 That's right, my right. shirt says, baby. Huddle, huddle, baby, huddle. Not, That's what it's right, all right. about. Don't I'm make not, me get undressed, Tim. Do you know what this, you know what the hodl is? That's a joke. That's a, that is, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I'm going to meme explain for you. Okay. Do you know what that means? That's a reference to Wall Street bets. Because people misspell hold. Do, do you remember what happened, by the way? Do you remember when you remember when GameStop never busted? I mean, when GameStop never uh, squoes. Remember when the squeeze never squoes, and people got caught hodling the bag. <sighs> Oof! Now it was fun for a little bit. Let's be real. These people are pathetic. Also, just so you know, real quick question. I mean, real quick statement. Just so you know, this right here. This is what it looks like. When somebody is fueled on pure cocaine, like that's what it means. This is what it looks like. A guy screaming uh, internet memes like a boomer. Ma this man is made out of cocaine, just so you know. How does his shirt get so degraded so quickly? Midlife crisis guy. Hey, thank you for the raid, Goat and the Goblin. Happy to have you. Welcome. Come in and get comfortable. We're going over Tim Pool's extremely questionable Dogecoin takes. Well, yeah, of course a ton of people made money on it. People who already had money. That's the thing. Like I said, my analysis holds strong. The only people who are really making anything out of the GME situation was those who already had money. Those are the only ones who will ever make money. Maybe a couple of random people might win the lottery, but in reality, nah. Look at the clip channel. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What's this? Okay, so I'm getting two different things. All right, listen. 
All right, let's check this. If this is a fucking, I will ban you if this is a thing. Bitcoin and things like it is the equivalent of the red pill. This is a technology, it's a computing language, and I can build an app on it. Is Bitcoin the currency of the future? Crypto gang, it's the game, big gang, all gang, light gang, cash game, blockchain, whoa. I don't really ever- I wanna die, I wanna die, fuck you. Fuck you, this is worse than a Rickroll. I would have preferred to be Rickrolled. I would have fucking preferred to be Rickrolled. Why would you show this to me? Why the fuck would you show this to me? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to ban you for that. That was horrible. Also, what's this? Nice. Nice. I'm not finishing that fucking video. Fuck you. I want to do my own goddamn content. Fuck you. I'm not watching that fucking shit. Let's get back into here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't make me get naked please, please on your don't. show. Please don't get please on your don't. show. I'm not saying Dogecoin is better than Bitcoin. I'm saying Dogecoin is a marketing. Excuse me? Did you say I had porn on the other screen? I did not have porn on the other screen. Excuse me? The only thing I had on the other screen was this right here, which is this very nice statement from Ico. So... <laughs> Hold on. I fucking I, love listen, Demon Mama. Fest, I know it's mean, but Demon everyone Mama. was going to be saying this. So I want everyone to get it out of their... Okay. I want Demon Mama to be as big as Vosh and Destiny. And Me like, too! To, like, be a part of the future uh, counterbalance to... The, uh, Me too, bitch. Yeah. The page. Fuck yeah. yeah I have. love Ico. Look, I fucking love Ico. I love Ico. Ah, uh, Ico's such a sweetheart. Seriously, we talked about Ico earlier. We like Ico here. Okay, listen. Yeah, Ico. Ico rules. Ico rules. There you go. Ico rules on Twitch TV. Ico's great. She does very different content than me, but I think you'll have fun. Okay. Being campaign. Got a bunch of people to finally know what crypto was. They're going to get wrecked. So people who bought it last week on the, um, you know, Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live at 72 or 74 cents a coin, they're sitting on 30 or 40 percent losses today. And they're wondering, what the heck am I going to do? It's going to scare a lot of people out. They're going to, they, to order, you, you, we enter into the arithmetic of losing. The amount of percent gain you need to break even once you lose 10% is more than 10%. Right. So, uh, you know, you and then you, what happens is you tend to, to trade riskier projects, as is today. There's another coin that's a dog Shiba. coin, right? Shiba Inu token. So now oh, that had that. a rally today. So a lot of people who lost 30% on Doge in the last week are going to be, I'm going to make it back on this other thing, which is even more ridiculously. Well, so, so, so they, they end up with zero. Let's, 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 let me ask you about Bitcoin, though. If, for one, there's a finite amount of Bitcoin. It's yeah. going it's, it, to, it's not, they're not going to complete the 21 million to, uh, coins until when? Do you know what year? Another 100 years. Another 100 years. Yeah. So, if, if if look, we, we we I was talking with some uh, some of the people here at Timcast earlier, and one of the suggestions was like, why don't you buy like do a video where you buy something big with Bitcoin? And I was like, because I'd rather have the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Why would I why would I give it up for anything? You know, Tesla says you can buy a, a you know a Tesla with a Bitcoin. I'm like, I'd rather have the Bitcoin. It's like why yeah, would why, why would I spend wait? Didn't a Tesla didn't Tesla stop accepting Bitcoin? Didn't that just happen? Didn't Tesla stop accepting Bitcoin? And that was like the whole thing. <laughs> Whoopsies! Three days ago, Tim, you're already wrong. Your video is already wrong. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I'm not lying. This video came out three days ago. <laughs> He's so fucking dumb. Aged like fucking mayonnaise. I love it. I love it. Colors on a fifty thousand dollar car. Yeah, no. Bitcoin's that, gonna yeah. hit a million bucks. Yeah, and I no. think it's gonna be <laughs> Bitcoin's gonna hit a million bucks. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, geez. can I get a full chart? Here we go. I just gotta go. <laughs> Bitcoin's gonna hit a million bucks, everybody. <laughs> it's at thirty thousand. He's got a long time to wait. Tim, your grandkids won't even be around. 
Oh boy. Well, what the hell? What happened? Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened, Merrick? I'll take a look. Maybe we'll cover it afterwards. Holy shit. Uh, yes. Yep. I will talk about this. Oh my god. Yep. Holy shit. We gotta finish this segment first, and then I'll talk about that, okay? Listen. Let's continue. Or maybe I'll do it on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Merrick. Let's talk about so this. Most people realize. So I guess the challenge is right now, should people, uh, you know, uh, should hypothetical people who are working just be buying as much Bitcoin as possible, but keeping some of the fiat for- No! Tim Pool, oh no! Tim is a, he's advocating for everyday working people to literally buy Bitcoin with their fucking pocket money. Oh no! <laughs> I love it. I love Bitcoin idiots. Bitcoin idiots. Oh my God. Listen, listen. Do you want to know what would be the real way? Listen, this might be a spicy take, but they should make a zoo specifically for Bitcoin idiots, okay? So that they can't do any more harm to the world, but we still get to watch them. We get to watch them like go around and like, they'll be like, they'll be like Bitcoins printed on the wall and they'll be like, oh. and th they will be like, look, they think they're, they think they're buying a currency. <laughs> and they won't know, they won't be able to see through the two pane glass and we'll just be laughing and they won't even know. They're, they'll be so into it. Like a Bitcoin idiot zoo. Oh, mm. oh, it would be so good. Listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen. It would be so good. Regular use, rent, food, because you don't want to spend the Bitcoin. No, he's telling people. No, oh no. <laughs> you know a dude who uses their mining rig as a heater and it saves them money on electricity? Trans girl Lily, that makes me want to TOS myself. Oh, Marcy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Marcy Raiders. Come on in, come get comfy. I was going to raid into you after I was done with all this, but I'm still going for a while. I still got another hour or so in me. So come in and get comfy. We are laughing our asses off at Dogecoin. We are laughing our asses off at Tim Pool's monstrously bad crypto takes. This is so funny. I'm losing my mind. It is uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay? Anyway, like I said, always be girl bossin. Always be girl bossin. And always be girl bossing with cryptocurrency. Just kidding. Please don't. Please don't. When you want it for later, right? Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. What, what, at what point are you like, okay, now? Hey, I welcome can spend back, Sonia. When it it becomes Bye, Milky um, Jammers. A greater parity to gold. So gold's worth about ten trillion dollars. Let's call it. Bitcoin's worth around one trillion or so. When you see Bitcoin trading at parity to gold at around five hundred thousand a coin or ten trillion dollars worth, then I think it'll be it'll be transitioned these people, from these people are delusional. It's at thirty thousand. They're talking about it being five hundred thousand dollars per coin. Oh my god! These people. This is like it's a religion. It's a religion. Gold has use. Bitcoin doesn't have a use. You can't even buy a sandwich with Bitcoin. Uh, uh, the pure only store of value to store of value and medium of exchange. It's not really a medium of exchange. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. A bit late to reply, but what you said about hodling is wrong. The term didn't originate from Wall Street bets in the GME affair. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. Lefty misinfo. Thank you, Chance. Thank you. I appreciate you coming in to correct me. Lefty misinfo. That's what that's what it means. That means you got to go buy crypto now. Thank you for correcting me. I thought it came from that. Was it from the original Bitcoin forum? No. Oh. Oh, whatever. It's fucking stupid, so who cares? <laughs> All right, listen. I was wrong about that, but okay. Why do people still talk about gold in terms of exchange value? It just shows how brainworm they are. Yeah, people don't know. They just think they're like... I mean, this guy... Look, you know what this guy wants? I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Listen, listen. I just want to tell you right now what this guy wants. This guy wants every person listening to Tim's show to go lift up Bitcoin so he can make a little bit more cash so he can afford buying a fucking Lamborghini, a Lamborghini with like a teledildonic system installed in it, okay? Yeah, this dude wants to pump up the, the cost of Bitcoin and he knows that Tim Pool Tim Pool show is one of the most popular shows on YouTube. So he goes on, oh, the Bitcoin climbs up a little bit. He sells and he goes and buys a new house. Okay, let's be real. 
such, although on what's called the second layer with Good night, uh, Rotum Lightning Schwartz. And other applications yeah. built on top, people are using it as uh, for transactions every single day. And a lot of people who do transact in Bitcoin that might spend Bitcoin, uh, let's say $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, they'll immediately buy 1000 to, to replenish that. Right. A lot of people, the most intelligent thing you can do is dollar cost averaging, which is just every single day or every week or every month, you simply put in 10 bucks, 100 bucks or 1000 bucks into uh, Bitcoin on a regular basis. You know, we, we work with, I, I think, you know, Swan Bitcoin is a company that is specializes in this and we, we, ha we, we work with them pretty closely. I got, I got an email. Hmm. Okay. Quick poll. Ready? There you go. There you go. I have seen precisely one shop. Okay? One. He's picking his nose. B Booger Tim. You've been to a Tesla dealer? <laughs> Joke's on you. They don't take Bitcoin anymore. See you later. See you later, the twos. Thanks for coming by. Oh, of course. There's interesting uses for the crypt. The, the technology is not like, uh, not, it, it's inventive. It's inventive. But it's just people, people, literally, I had a caller come in and tell me that they believed that Bitcoin was the best chance that we had at beating capitalism. And I said, and that made me want to commit TOS. Okay. Email from somebody. Somebody who has like a, it was a wealthy individual who had a trust, like a wealthy family. Yeah. And they were talking to their financial manager or whatever, saying, we need to start putting our assets into Bitcoin. And they said, absolutely not. We won't do that. Yeah. And so the email I got was like very. Upset. Why is it not the best answer? That is like, how do I explain to you that a magical internet coin with some interesting tech in it cannot fix the predominant economic system that rules the world right now? Do I really need to explain that? Do I really need to explain that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A incredibly unstable coin, mostly, mostly traded by coked up idiots, like literal idiots who spend all of their Bitcoin at their, at their Coke dealer, who immediately sells the Bitcoin to buy a mountain of new cars, to buy a... Uh, a fucking diamond fucking a, a fucking diamond plated fleshlight come on uh oh what happened what happened here let's see oh boy we got we got some rage we got some rage already Here we go. Let's watch it. Individual examples don't constitute fucking data, Rob. All right, that's great. All right, so you've got- Right, couple... and we no, see yes. the January 6 was only one example of a thousand dollars worth of damage compared to $2.2 .2 billion dollars worth of damage that we saw from the violence from the left. But we have to say the anecdotally that's okay. Wait, 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 Rob, on the left Rob, are really why good. Did you... You broke him! You got under his skin! Congratulations, Marcy! You found the button! Good job. Good job. All right, let's continue with Tim Pool. All right? That, like, what are we supposed to do? Mauled more. Well, that's, that's... Um... Rob Nor, more like mauled more. <laughs> Understandable. The, the, the entrenched, you know, the, the, the establishment in, in these markets don't want to, the competition, and they don't want people taking money out, because once a lot of people understand that, you know, the, the saying goes, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. You take the keys off these exchanges and these products and you and so you're taking money out of the system. So for if you're uh, somebody whose business is accumulating assets under management, AUM, and uh, th that's a negative for you because people are taking all their assets off. And they're, they're what is he talking about? Am I am I the only one struggling to follow what the fuck he's talking about? Into cold storage. And right. so that's that's they don't want that competitive 
thing going on, and that the the amount of money made on selling true products secret stars is all enormous. And this is a, a, a the, there's no fees attached. It's 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 free to store essentially. Uh, so it, they don't want the competition. And but uh, that is changing quite rapidly. As uh, Paul Tudor Jones, very famous hedge fund manager, said, he believes inflation is here, and he he owns a lot of gold. But he says Bitcoin is the fastest horse in the race. So, um, how long until you think Bitcoin reaches half a million? Well, I I've got a price target. For delusion, delusion. This is delusion. Let's hear. Let's see if he says anything. If he says anything, he might be he might actually put himself in legal trouble. But let's see. For twenty twenty one of two hundred twenty thousand per coin. Why? 200 are you fucking kidding me he says that by the end of 2021 bitcoin bitcoin will be worth 220,000 that is that is this is con man shit this is fucking con man shit oh my god it's in all of history the highest it's ever been what was the highest it's ever been let's see how do we zoom in and get the highest 60,000 60,000 is the highest it's ever 63,000 is the highest it's ever been in the entire history and it's now plummeting and he's saying this idiot's on here telling Tim Pool's listeners oh it's gonna hit 200,000 you'll be a bajillionaire just dump your child's fucking college fund into bitcoin oh my god I'm gonna lose my mind I'm gonna lose my mind these people are so bad they're so unethical I told you, Bitcoin idiot zoo. Bitcoin idiot zoo. What, what, what was that number? Based on the halvings that we've had every four years, we've had three halvings. And uh, typically you see these types of price moves in the, the year. You can track post. a pattern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cyclically what we see. What's the halving? So, well, so, so one second. Uh, has has the price crow. tracked as you predicted it thus far? Because I know Pretty you've much, been... yeah. The first quarter, it did... Uh, it did <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, yeah. My predictions have been right every time, basically. Yeah, it's definitely going to get 220,000 by the end of 2021. Anyway. I'm a software engineer and a socialist who may provide some takes on blockchain tech if you ever want to talk about it. Crypto chuds make me want to delete my FF, FF14 character. No, no, listen, uh, maybe someday, but like, I don't, I, I know block blockchain tech isn't the problem. I don't, I don't fucking hate blockchain tech. I think some of it's really innovative, but holy shit. Holy fucking shit. You've got, you've got to like, like, these people are malicious. They're destroying our planet. They're destroying our ability to buy computers and all for nothing just to rip each other off. It's just a never ending. It's an, it's a, it's a, a million person long fucking centipede, human centipede that connects back to itself. So like the guy at the front of the centipedes mouth is attached to the ass of the guy at the back of the centipede. And it's just a million people long forever. They're all just scamming each other. Very, very well. Now it's kind of going sideways. And I think we're going to see in the second quarter another breakout move to, to um, you know. In How is it destroying the planet? Yes. The consumption of Bitcoin alone, by the way, Bitcoin miners, they're just Bitcoin miners, consume more energy than some small countries. It's horrible. It's a massive waste of energy. I unironically think some kind of blockchain-based currency may be the type of currency we all use eventually. Sure, maybe someday. How do you even mine fucking... How do you even fucking mine Bitcoin? Here, I'll explain. All right, here's how you mine Bitcoin, everybody. I'm going to give you... All right, ready? Ready? I'm going to give you Mama's Guide to, to mining Bitcoin, okay? First off, log off, jerk off, okay? And then go to bed. There you go. There you go. Just kidding. The real way that you mine Bitcoin is you carve out your own kidney and you sell it on the black market. 
Then you carve out a chunk of your liver and you sell that in the black market. And then you have enough money to buy one Bitcoin. Then you buy that one Bitcoin and then you use that Bitcoin on the black market to buy an advanced mining computer that is loaded with child porn, okay? And then you plug that computer in at your house. Uh, sorry, you won't have a house anymore because you will have failed on your rent. So you plug that in at a local coffee shop and it immediately blacks out the entire neighborhood. All of the, every, like literally just kills the power grid for an entire neighborhood. But once they get it back up, then you'll be able to turn your computer on. It will make a very loud noise. And then it will take four years to to install and catch up to the uh you know catch up to the current version of your bitcoin wallet and then you could sit the computer there and you wait and you wait forever and you ask a friend if you can use their phone to watch tim pool while you wait to mine a bitcoin and your giant computer will slowly be melting its way through the planet's crust because in order to even mine a bitcoin it will generate so much heat that it will actually melt through the floor of the McDonald's that you plugged in at. And then it will sink into the crust. And hopefully by then you will mine a second Bitcoin. At which point you will then be able to sell both of your Bitcoins. Buy back your house. Pay your, your, uh, pay your bills. And hopefully, maybe you'll be able to convince some of your family members to accept you back. Okay? There you go. There you go. There you have it. That's how you get Bitcoin. Simple. Easy. Simple and easy. 70, 80, 85,000. So I, I've known you guys for a decade, and uh, I, I told you the story of Bitcoin back in 2011. I was at a hackerspace in LA. It was called Crash Space. I was hanging with my friend Jeff, and I uh, was sitting at my computer. I had savings. I had about five grand in savings. I had worked. I had saved it. I'm never going to touch it. It's my rainy day fund. It's like I'm very proud. I was, you know, was like 24 or something. And I said, I, I saw Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin faucet, for those that aren't familiar, there's a website that literally just gave you free Bitcoin. It was 0 0.05, I believe. Could be wrong. Just randomly like, there you go. Here's some, it was, yep. it was almost worthless. One of the best ways to make money with Bitcoin mining is to sell off your old rigs for like 80 to 90% of purchase price after mining a fraction of a Bitcoin. True. That's the real way. Here's the truth. All of those were jokes. All three of my, all, wait. All two of my previous answers were jokes. The tr the real way to make money mining Bitcoin is to grift other Bitcoin idiots, okay? The real... No, no, no. Sorry. That one was incorrect as well. That one was incorrect as well. The real way is to build the world's first Bitcoin idiot zoo and charge a reasonable price for entry. And you will become a millionaire and you will make money off of Bitcoin by building the first, the world's first Bitcoin idiot zoo and charging a nominal fee for entry. You could even sell popcorn and double up on your profits, okay? And you, here's the deal. It's super cool. You just have to pay one plumber to fix, to, uh, you need to pay one plumber to fix all the toilets and you need to pay one handler to make sure that the food pellets the Soylent branded food pellets are inserted into their um, into their enclosure every day. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's a Dogecoin petting zoo. So I look at my friend and I'm like, should I just buy a bunch of this Bitcoin thing? Because I'm just saving this money. It's sitting in a bank. You know, I got to pay fees or whatever. Why don't I just Wait, buy so how does Bitcoin ruin the environment and stuff? Okay. Okay. Un unironically, I'll take a second and not be a memester. Okay, ready? Here's... Unironically, this is not this is not a meme. Okay, here's how it damages the environment. It's not fine for the environment. Okay, listen. Here's how it ruins the environment. Okay, so in order to mine Bitcoin, you have to have an incredibly powerful computer that draws a fuckload of power. Okay, so if you if you want to actually have a shot at making any Bitcoin, you need to have massive computer setups that draw an incredible amount of power, and they run twenty four seven. They just, just suck it up that energy, just constantly, just constantly, okay? Just suck it up all that energy, okay? And because most of our power grid is built off of fossil fuels, this is so dishonest, it's hilarious. Frisky Beast, step up, step up. Come on into the server, buddy. Let's chat. Let's fucking chat, shall we? Come on, baby. Let's get on in here. Yeah, let's do this. I've done this a couple times, buddy. Come on in. 
come on in. Come into the server. Let's talk. Let's talk about your Bitcoin takes, okay? Because I have a feeling this is going to be real good. Hello. Yes, you are being called out. Do you want to talk? Or are you um, going to flee? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm more just worried. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the best time for it because, I, I mean, I'm actually a fan and um, I don't want it the... Uh, like Didn't you call in to talk to me about Bitcoin in the past? Um, I've I talked about it on in chat. Um, I could have but... sworn I saw. I, I could have sworn I remembered your name from a conversation we had about Bitcoin quite a while ago. Yeah, I, I brought some things and uh, people were um, uh, they were really uh, anti Bitcoin and stuff. So, um, and then uh, come on uh, in. Just come into the stream, call in already. Come on, get up here. All right, Throatzilla. Let's do this. Hello. Hello. Uh, All right. So, so <clears throat> hold on a second. Throatzilla. All yes. right. Uh, what is your What are your pronouns? Uh, he, uh, he, him. Um, okay. Gay, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thanks for that info. I mean, me too. Yeah, That's great. Sorry, my bad. Cool. But, it's all yeah. good. It's all um, good. Be being being gay is is pog as shit. Okay. All right. Listen. So you had some contentions with my uh, with my takes about bitcoins. Um, is this because you don't want to end up in the Bitcoin zoo, or is this because of some other reason? Do you actually have a meaningful contention with anything that I've said, or are you just sort of mad that I don't like Bitcoin? Well, I've followed it for about twelve years now. I mean, I was in it with uh, since four chan. Uh, I think I was down to like thirteen dollars an hour when I first got into it, and then. Okay. Uh, you know, I jumped to 50, then 200. And at that point I had given up. I thought I was, it was done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, year after year, it's uh, kind of taken off. And I ran into one uh, friend who was showing me his uh, Bitcoin mining setup. And mm -hmm. that's when I realized how big it gets. And yeah, he was mm -hmm. maxed out, m maxing out his wattage in his apartment uh, to cool or to warm his apartment during the winter. Uh, okay. which is, I, th I think that's crazy, you know. Um, especially for, uh, I don't think it's profitable on a small scale anymore. I mean, you you probably can, but it's you have to use, um, I think, different software that switches between each coin uh, at any given time. Um, okay. And it, it's all done automatically. But the you know, if you read the white paper, which was uh, Satoshi Nakamoto's yeah uh, original, um, okay. yeah, his original vision for Bitcoin was for every person in the world to be able to start up their computer and gain passive income and okay you but know, that's supply. that's nonsense and you know that of course nonsense. yeah well it's not how it worked out yeah not um, at all not even close yeah and no like, i get but it and like the the tech behind it is interesting for sure but it's more like a an experiment than anything that should be taken seriously and what well, it's become I think it... is basically a hive of of unfathomable con men ripping off as many people as they can possibly dupe into buying into it and it's horrible like people have been like fucking killed themselves over bitcoin i mean like a lot like like do we not remember the the mount gox thing like this shit is happening all the time yeah like, but bitcoin is super that, super volatile that was one of the first and um you know the biggest exchange to go down um yeah but everybody saw then, it there's coming, been a lot of like... well since then there's been a lot of security upgrades and stuff i mean there's um you can yeah, right. I, I have multiple wallets and uh okay. you know they're constantly Wait. making them better okay so um, re real quick thing though like i get it if you personally have made money off of bitcoin that's fucking cool great congratulations uh well like, not bitcoin itself i, I, I actually don't own any Cri or bitcoin crypto right or, now uh, but that's, yeah, yeah. that's interesting but everything does follow Bitcoin. That's a thing. Like, um, you know, it is a store of value, um, and it, it's it's kind of can be looked at as gold, but also not. Um, Dude, that is delusional. Well, the thing is, it can be coded into things. Um, that's the we're kind of going down a route, I think, um, um, that like we'll need a different type of currency eventually. Essentially, okay, um, one that can be coded into things. Like uh, one of the uh examples that i think anton antonopoulos or something uh he did a ted talk on it at one okay. point but um he was talking about like what happens when you can combine two companies like uber with uh bitcoin um where the car could technically buy itself um make all the car payments uh take itself into service and become its own corporation um a self-governing you know, thing like that sounds that, that sounds dystopian 
Well, it's it's completely possible today, even. No, it and is not. That is, if you believe that's possible, you have been conned. See, this is my problem. Well, no. This is why I call Bitcoin people Bitcoin idiots, because they don't actually know what they're talking about. They talk about these utopian science fiction bullshit. Dude, Tesla can't even get a fucking smart car running properly. They can't even get a self-driving car working properly. You're talking about a car well, that runs its own corporation? This is ridiculous. Like, this is the well, shit. Think, this is why I can, never that... have, I can never have conversations with, with Bitcoin people, because every time time I do they come up with this like in the future there will a wizard will be able to summon you an elephant with using the power of Bitcoin it's like okay you're talking about funny and interesting things but you're just making it up no one's actually doing this none of this is actually applicable it's all a pipe dream it is a pipe dream within a pipe dream it's like Elon Musk talking about his horrific tech magic inventions like a, a tube a, a death tube that has no possible way to get out of it once you're in it and does worse than normal traffic like this then, is what Bitcoin stuff always sounds like. Well, why is uh you know PayPal buying so much Bitcoin or Grayscale or do you want to you know? know these... Wait, you want to know why they're doing it? Because they know that they can make a quick buck off of it. Because they are invested in everything. They have their fingers in everything. And if they can control the market, hell yeah. People come on here to tell me, oh, Bitcoin is super, 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 super independent and it's it's and it's decentralized. No, it fucking isn't. If the only way that you can trade Bitcoins in in the next ten years is through one of the major Bitcoin banks, all of which are currently owned by existing billionaires with very few exceptions, and you can only conveniently use it and trade it through Coinbase owned by Microsoft and uh, CoinStop and CoinButt and whatever other stupid website you want to come up with that has the word coin in it, that it will eventually be bought up by PayPal, uh, by, uh, by um, Bank of America. What's next? I mean, they're doing it. They're doing it right now, exactly like everybody fucking predicted. All of the banks that already have money are the only ones who can actually afford to get into it. They're buying up the coin, and then they're monopolizing the market, so you have to trade through them. They're controlling it just like anything else. And the way that they do but, that is because it's not like this 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 pie in the sky. A car could trade its own Bitcoin and it could, you know, someday pleasure itself with its own Bitcoins. Like that's fantastic and amazing. And I love to think about fantasy as well. But that's not reality. Nobody's actually doing that. Nobody's ever going to actually do that. And what in reality is happening is that major banks are buying into Bitcoin and forcing Bitcoin evangelists to basically unintentionally become bank evangelists. Uh, well, so do you believe that self-driving cars are a thing, though? I like, mean, they're, they're they going to become a thing. They're a of, concept. Yeah. We'll see if they be. We'll, we'll see. I've been so ten years ago, basically like ten years ago to like next month. I had a friend who was super, super, super invested in self-driving cars, in in cryptocurrency, in in life extension, all this shit. Guaranteed me was willing to bet that that there would be that every car on the road would be a self-driving car in 10 years. I have never oh. seen a self-driving car myself. Well, of course, that that's unrealistic. Yeah, no, 10 but years. They said, but everybody I knew, all of the people who were super into Bitcoin were like, oh yeah, we're gonna, everybody's gonna have a, a, a self-driving car. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think that self-driving cars are as close as everyone thinks because I think there's a whole lot more. And I think what happens is that people get way ahead of themselves like they always have and they listen to uh, millionaire playboy grifters like like Elon Musk who say, yeah, yeah, this tech, they're selling you something and people take them at face value and they go, Oh, oh, really? It'll be able to jack me off too? It'll be a tell Dildonics included in my car? Wow, holy shit! You mean it? And then they t they make projections based on what salespeople tell them, which is stupid. And then they come to conclude horrible conclusions about the world. And then to use some Bitcoin terms, they get wrecked. They get wrecked because they're listening to a salesman tell them what the, their product will deliver them in the future. I once did a segment a long time ago on my show. In fact, I can show this note right here. Old fans will remember. Oh, I turned right to it. This is my invention called the Zoom food, okay? And I want you to invest in my Zoom food, okay? Will you, will you consider investing in it? It's a really good idea. Here's what it does. This is the Zoom food right here. There are two models. There's the, the large model which is only a low, low cost of $200,000. And then there is the small Zoom food, which is, and you can see there's these battery units here and there's the communication unit here at the top. Can you see it? It's a, it looks great. The batteries are on the bottom. You put your food on the inside and it immediately teleports your food over here. It makes food teleportation possible. No more fees for Uber Eats. Yeah, you think $200,000 costs a lot. And yes, sure, it is the size of a house in your home, but you can teleport food. You don't have to pay for Uber Eats anymore.
So I think you should invest in this. It will teleport food. It will be amazing. And, and you can get in on it right now for only $200,000. And let's see, if I get, if I can get a commitment from you for $200,000, listen, 10 years from now, you're never gonna have to order food out ever again. You'll just have it teleported right into your house with only minor degradation to the flavor of the food. Does that sound like a deal? Uh, I don't know what any of that had to do with what we're talking about. But, oh, oh um, I'm sorry. I was just filling sorry. your ears with sales nonsense about the invention that I just came up with out of my ass and could tell yeah, you so about I, it. And then if you the build future about Bitcoin, predictions though, out is, of that. I've actually had to use it um, out of necessity. Um, I, you know, my parents live in another state. So, okay. you know, um, and I wanted to send them money quickly. Mm -hmm. I just opened them a Coinbase account and send them straight Bitcoin and it arrived 10 minutes later. You know, it's like very hardly any fees at all. You could do that. The oh, same you thing know, with hold on, I can people do that right in, now in, with in, cash, in the cash country. app or PayPal, or I could use a money order. Yeah, but that's completely or I could use my bank and they're different just the system. same thing. I mean, it's the same shit. It takes less hoops and it's less likely to crash from the time that you send it to somebody to the time that they arrive, that they re receive it. Yeah. yeah Visa, Western Union does this for three bucks. Yeah. Why am I going to spend $3 when I can pay like some pennies? Okay. You know, Coin and wait, 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 cash does it for free. You can send money for free through cash. Cash app. Yeah. Cash app. It's free. It's easier. Yeah. You just put your debit card in that already exists. And guess yeah, what? what 10 years mean? from now, 20 bucks says any option that you have to send Bitcoin that wouldn't describe you like literally having to teach your, you know, your, your grandparents or your parents, like how to install a Bitcoin wallet and all this non and all this shit. You, you're just, you'll have to use your Bitcoin app and the Bitcoin app will be owned by Google or PayPal or Bank of America or one of those other companies that have already started choking out the market already because that's what they do because that's how that you can't solve a, you can't solve fucking serious world issues with a magical space currency see I'm, I'm not the best to be talking about this um i'm not uh especially with bitcoin specifically uh, i'm you know i'm not going to continue to talk about it too much because okay mean, you know sorry but yeah there's especially with the current news i think china was talking about or there was some kind of news about them outlawing bitcoin india's tried to do it multiple times on yeah uh, making transactions through it, but they failed every time. It's been about four times they've tried in the past, uh, however many years. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same case with China, especially with how many investors are like deeply into it. And mm -hmm. Qcoin is a huge app for it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of development going on for the technology behind it. There's there's a lot of money and potential money for it. Um, oh yeah, there's I lots of think... lots of people making lots of money, and none of them are yeah. you. And none of them are any of the people who keep getting roped into buying into Bitcoin and pumping it up so that random billionaires well, can, again, can, buy, not... can micro sale using their fucking their literal like Bloomberg terminals and whatever else bullshit that they have to instantaneously make as many trades as they want at a thousand times an hour. They can literally afford to pay a team of people to trade their Bitcoin for them. You're outpaced. So is everyone else. This is not like some sort of populist solution that every Bitcoin no, person anyone can and anyone can buy Bitcoin at any Anyone can buy Bitcoin in any, like, uh, from uh, down to any, like, a Satoshi. Like, you know, there's, it's not only for large institutions. You don't have to buy a full Bitcoin. Um, yeah. Okay. And, and, they, yeah, and nobody so can do anything with it. It's, it's you available can't buy to anything everyone. With it. You can just speculate alongside everyone else. And you are going to be jumping into an ocean of fish that are 100 times your size. And you are the dupe. You are the one who they're making money off of because you're buying into their little hype currency. I, I, I like that there's interesting tech going on behind it. But, but Bitcoin has been sure. like taken over by the exact same people. And guess what? The cost of it is that... Oh yeah, Bitcoin miners all over the world who all think they're going to be the next person to be a formerly temporarily embarrassed millionaire. Those people are melting down the planet by fucking consuming the energy of Sweden just to fucking power their shitty ass Bitcoin rigs that give them brain damage because they they plugged it in and it it produces temperatures of 500 degrees slowly boiling them and their family and their cat. I think that's a misinformed. I think you need to look into it a little bit more. I haven't spent the time to um, wait, you just I'm, wait. Again. You came into my chat to say that I was like spreading disinformation, and when I called you on it, now you're saying you haven't looked into it. I yeah, this was completely on the spot for okay. one. Okay, uh, I actually okay. wanted to. So so maybe maybe okay. Listen, 
I've been going a little hard on Bitcoin people. Not really hard on you, to be fair. Mostly just Bitcoin people in general. But can you admit that, like, maybe you were firing a little broad by saying I'm engaging in disinfo when you haven't even done the research to defend your argument on stream? Well, I'm not a streamer. Um, you don't have to be a streamer to be able to defend your position when you come into someone's chat and make a big claim like I'm spreading disinformation. Well... You said I, mean, I was a lot explicitly of, being dishonest. A lot of the stuff you said, uh, sp specifically with like um, the reason for the drop today or recently and stuff. Um, what did I say about that, sorry? Well, I mean, you couldn't explain why. You were just more saying that, look, it's all dropping right now. Um, yeah, it is. And there's reasons for that. I mean, Elon screwed it up on SNL. Yep. And, and guess what? He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again except, in the future. Except, He's Tesla still own, except Tesla still owns their Bitcoin. And... He can fuck it around by tweeting about it. This is an incredibly volatile currency that's happened a million times. This has happened a million times in the history of Bitcoin. You can literally just look at the, at the chart. I know. I've been watching it for years. Yeah, and it's I've only been gone surrounded up. by Bitcoin evangelists, and all of them were dead wrong. And all of them, well, for the most part, lost all their money. How are, how are they wrong if it's only gone up, especially if they <laughs> held? It hasn't only gone up. It, go, it goes up over time. Sure. For now. Like anything, yeah. And, uh, so and what happens? So it's still and, not on wait, a downtrend. Wait, this is where wait. It just now, that doesn't matter though. That's like saying that oh, the S and P five hundred is is just on an upward trend. It's going to keep going up forever. It's that is literally the mentality. The like brain, the capitalist brain disease. We know that mathematically it cannot continue forever. The guy in the show we were just watching was telling Tim Pool's viewers that it was going to be at two hundred and twenty thousand per Bitcoin by the end of the year. That is insane. And that is common. Bitcoin people. I, I think Bitcoin, it'll. Const I I do think it'll reach a hundred thousand by the end of the year. Two hundred and twenty thousand uh, is what this guy was advocating. This guy is a million well, times bigger yeah, platform than you. And this guy has been in the business number. forever. Yeah. Well, guess yeah. what? This guy's grifting people, which is my point. That most of the fucking Bitcoin evangelists are grifters. They're lying to you. There's so much misinformation. You can't possibly figure out what's even true. But what you can do is you can use your brain to look at bigger trends. Like, watch this. If Bitcoin, do you really think? Let, let me ask you this. A quick question, just well, to they're, clarify. They're not financial position. advisors, for one. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty pretty sure they have to disclose that. Come right? on. Come on. That's silly. Well, when I, a guy goes on to specifically evangelize about, about Bitcoin, he goes, oh, it's going to be at $200,000. And, and, you know, I use this great company that I run uh, called well, it's the same a thing bit, as, like, bit whatever. Oh, I'm, 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 not an I'm not a financial advisor, just so you know, legally. You know, like a star at the end. It's like, not, a le not, not legal, financial days. And then it's like, oh, but anyway, buy into Bitcoin, buy into Bitcoin, buy into Bitcoin, buy into Bitcoin. We know that this is fucking manipulative. Like... Uh, just so you know, like there are like we know casinos are manipulative. They're still technically legal. Yeah, they have to say, oh yeah, you're. Uh, we have to, somewhere online published in the corner of 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 some website is the the actual slot machine stats. But nobody knows that, and they're being sold fucking slot machines that are designed to fucking milk them. And that's what Bitcoin people are doing. Well, I believe in the technology more as again. I mean. Uh... I think so it has you don't think in... that like you don't think that Bitcoin is going to like overturn capitalism, right? Well, I wonder. That's why I want to see more on it. Like, what happens when you connect a world economy? Like, anyone from a third world country could pick up a phone, start a Coinbase account, and transfer money within it, and it'll be a transfer rate um, that's different from like transferring from the U.S. dollar. Like, um, I can buy something from someone in another country and not have to go through the same hoops as you would through the us dollar you know what i mean yeah, um, so i'm I wondering guess. more about that kind of stuff i don't really understand that enough because it's it's hard to and again like you know it's a emerging technology it's um you know the taxes are even kind of weird on it right now still um so but, that's interesting like, and i find um, it also crazy interesting that, the that they US haven't figured out taxes is, quick question so here's the question do you know there, there's, do you there's think, a way to wait, do it. wait do you think that world superpowers are stupid no okay so if you, if now let's see if in, 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 in the real world, when world superpowers feel th legitimately threatened by something that threatens their power, what do they do to it? Uh, I don't know. Shut it down. Yeah. Usually destroy it or shut it down. Maybe, you know, they, okay. So, so what happens with things so like wait. torrents and stuff though? Like, you know, torrents are still around after how many years, even though it's, um, 
Yeah, you know, because they have a use. Kind of a similar because, concept. Because a torrent is a is a tool that lets you get something that you want that's actually valuable. And that's that's the same thing with Bitcoin. I mean, you, no, it, it isn't. Your, Bitcoin transfer is value. a magical coin that has no intrinsic value. You can't eat a Bitcoin. You can't smoke a Bitcoin. You can't watch a Bitcoin. Yeah, a Bitcoin but the, is just the value. An, is, it is just an the idea. The value is in the transfer. The value um, isn't just in the transfer. The value is in what in you can technology. get from it. See, this is fucking this is fucking investor speak for I'm 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 desperately trying to come up with a value. The value is not in the transfer. The value is that you can use it like a currency. You can buy things with it that make your life better. Because at the end of the day, the only reason we have financial systems is because we need to figure out a way to get burger in mouth, to get sex on dick, to get TV on eyeballs, to get music on ears. That's why we use money. And Bitcoin it can't do any of those things. And to be fair, nor can uh, just fiat currencies, but fiat currencies are valuable because they have entire nations backing them. They have millions of people using them. Where, where have you ever seen a fucking store that you can use a Bitcoin at? There's like 10 and it's a novelty. It's a novelty. I know two that it just came up nearby. Actually. That's great. So but, you know two stores yeah, so, in your total area. What can you buy okay, there? Like, yeah. like records or, or like That's not, or, or weed? Well, they say that, again, it's like a way of looking at it as internet money. Uh, again, like, how do you encode, um, say you wanted to play a game like World of Warcraft or something. Sure. Uh, you could transfer that uh, in-game currency into and transfer it back and forth between the US dollar um, and whatever coin they create or to Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, it doesn't cancel out any and it has its place, you know? Um, and that's uh, wow. one hole that like, like something I think, like Bitcoin I think like or, wow gold another. is probably statistically more more reliable and 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 more stable than bitcoin is like wow gold which is literally like an admittedly fictional currency that is a it is a literal manufactured economy and it's probably yeah. more stable you could probably make more of a living farming up wow gold farming up pots and wow and selling them and then reselling your gold via black market and you could probably uh or, or even just paying for your wow account you could probably make more well, reliable money that's what they say about uh bitcoin though is we're kind of like take it as if we were to be seeing the or the idea behind it would be to, uh, when gold came about and it started to become like the universally accepted uh you know store value or currency kind and of thing gold? Um, you know it brings in yeah wait gold has back. been valuable forever do you want to know why gold is valuable why do you think it's like, do you think it's because like God appeared and said that gold is valuable? No, it's because no, it's, it's because it's hard pretty. To... You can make it into things. It's soft. It's it's a conductor. You can use it in electronics. It has uses. It looks nice. That's the reason why it's... gold is valuable because kings could turn it into crowns. They could turn it into rings, things that show that you're rich. That's why. Yeah. Because it's, it's shiny. And it's hard and it's hard to obtain. It's a, it's yeah, a, it's um, rare. It's yeah. A fine, yeah. It's a finite. But it, has a, uh... it has intrinsic value. Gold is valuable because humans like sp like flashy, shiny things. Bitcoin literally doesn't even have a coin to go with it. So I, it I recognize it, it doesn't thing, need to, but it has a problem, which is that it's competing Bitcoin, even though in concept there's cool stuff you can do with it. It's competing against currencies that actually have stuff backing it, currencies that have a nation with a okay. military backing it. And guess what? If Bitcoin ever starts to threaten any one of those nations, those nations will crack down on it. And the moment they crack down on it, the value plummets. And all of a sudden, you can't buy anything with Bitcoin because nobody can accept Bitcoin, which means you're stuck holding a bunch of Bitcoin, which you can't eat, you can't drink. You, it's not like gold, where like if a country outlawed gold, you could you could sell gold on the black market, just like how that's, our country. It, it'll always have value as long as it can be traded. No, it won't. Anything can be traded. Yeah. I could trade you a pile of shit. That doesn't mean that it has value. Somebody has to want it. Something being able to be traded doesn't mean anything. I could trade you this fucking spit covered mug. Do you want it? No, you're not. What do you here? Why don't you give me a hundred dollars for this mug? Does it sound like a deal? No, right? You're not going to take that. I might be able to trade the mug, but if nobody's going to take it, what can I get for it? This is like basic concepts of exchange. It's God. I'll have to. I would, I would really like to maybe come back on later okay. when I can form a little bit of a better argument. But no, I mean I I do value your opinion, and that's why you know I'm still a, um I, I still watch your streams all the time. Oh, thanks, um, I appreciate it. I, I again I don't know. I'm not very good with forming these arguments, but um you know I've made thirty thousand dollars off uh 
multiple crypto or well v chain specifically and stuff and i that's great really believe i believe in the technology i think it's you know something good that's going to come about and again it's um it relies though it mirrors uh bitcoin though so right now it's down um I, i'm happy i pulled so, out but you okay, know that's good. it's just one of those I'm things glad you got um, that fiat currency that you can use to buy food and, and nice things with well actually i have it stored in usdt so it's a um yeah it's a token um okay. and I, yeah i can transfer it back if i want to but um okay. i've you know just kind of holding off to buy back into bitcoin on an uptrend um but you know you look at ether people it's kind of the same thing that has more of a building platform side Wait, of it are all. you talking about ethereum mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ethereum, you do know that the devs of Ethereum, like, literally yeah, I'm wrote... I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, No, wait. Ethereum is awesome. It's just the devs wrote a letter denouncing that their, their, it, their tech, which they designed to be used to make apps to, like, actually build, like, internal app economies that could organize work between big, big programming teams. They wrote a letter basically saying, fucking speculators, fuck off. You've ruined our dream project and we want nothing to do with this anymore. Like, mm -hmm. they literally, speculators ruined Ethereum. Ethereum was designed to be a special experiment that would help people make, basically build internal app economies so you could fairly trade. This is a super hyper, dumb, dumb simp simp simplification. But so you, should be, you could basically accurately allocate computing power between different projects, between teams working on different things. It was meant to support, mm -hmm. like, open source projects. And it got ruined because of Wall Street bankers who use their money to basically pull all of these things under their control. This is the yeah. problem. Yeah, this is the problem with, with cryptocurrency. It doesn't solve any of the problems we're looking for. This is the thing. I, I don't think there's there's nothing wrong with you to with you making money. In fact, I think it's fucking pog. If anybody in my aud audience can make money off of Bitcoin legitimately, but I really can't. The reason why I'm so mean to Bitcoin people and I call them Bitcoin idiots is because every last one of them that I've ever met to a T, they start they start basically huffing their own supply. They get to the point where they're like, I made money with Bitcoin. That must mean that Bitcoin is going to save the world. And they become evangelists. And part of the reason why they become evangelists is because there's a million other evangelists way, way up on the totem pole telling them, yeah, yeah, it's going to hit. It's going to hit 220,000. Yeah, keep buying in. Keep buying in. And those people, they have a button on a lightning trade option. They have a team of people that can do trades for them. And they know that if, if anything goes bad, if it actually becomes a threat, they'll be able to jump right out and you'll be left holding the bag. And so will thousands of other people who will be potentially devastated holding magical internet money that they can't buy food with. Well, they go over that. Like that was one of the arguments someone was uh, making. If you were to own, what is it? Like 40% of all Bitcoin or whatever, and you were to flip it. Um, if you had enough capital to buy 40% of the supply of Bitcoin and then dropped it, what would happen? And, um, they go over it in depth. I'm, I'm, again, I'm not like, I can't wrap my head, mind around it and stuff, but, um, okay. You so know, that's some, my advice. That's into. my genuine advice to you. Look, I've been contentious and, and, and performative in this conversation because I, I've had a million conversations about Bitcoin and, uh, I, I like making fun of Bitcoin idiots. I don't think you're a Bitcoin idiot. Okay. I really don't. I don't, I don't think you are. I will say you before you evangelize and before you jump into a chat to tell somebody that they're spreading disinformation please try to grasp it because i'm telling you right now that like when i ask you like do you think that that bitcoin will take down capitalism and you go mm -hmm, that shows you're not thinking about it rationally you're not thinking well, about it the way i that am all thinking of it as a hopeful thing i do oh, but i that's, think that's that it's not hopeful that's fantasy I do think it's our best chance of doing it. Though. It is not. I, it is I not. Say. You want to know what your best chance of of defeating of, of fixing capitalism is? Getting involved in politics. You're not going to find a magical bullet, a, a magical internet coin that's going to fix capitalism for you. If you want to fix capitalism, you have to engage socially. You have to organize. You have to fight. You have to organize your workplace. You have to fight for better for actual labor protections. That's how you fix capitalism. That's and, a magical what internet they, coin. And what do they say is the best way to? Um, uh, to uh what's it called um sorry i'm like stalling now that's okay uh to oh my god sorry i'm like panicking um don't panic it's fine i'm just look i'm i'm this way this is how it is what i do for a living okay i don't think yeah, you're a bitcoin idiot okay you're fine what what is the best way to organize though i mean like uh, um to um that's a huge to question get, 
they say to you know put your money where your mouth or like to uh vote with your money or whatever so well, that's what capitalists what tell you to do that's what capitalists tell you to do yeah yeah because they guess who if, if, if in a world where you vote with your money you want to know who has the most votes billionaires yeah of course true. they're going to tell you and, to vote with your money you and can't that's why you can't be a dupe you got it you got it you got to not don't don't take these fucking tech bro billionaire assholes at their at their value i just went on and looked while we were on stream here just doing some little you know i like to do little live fact checks um while we're doing this and looking into here right now the, we were just looking on screen just a few minutes ago the uh the biggest holders the biggest holders in bitcoin are all fucking the owners of Bitcoin exchanges, and they're already billionaires. These people were billionaires who entered into the business. They founded a bank, and they convinced a bunch of Bitcoin hopefuls to invest in their bank and hold their money in their bank, just like a normal bank. It's been absorbed. Is, isn't that used for liquidity, or um, what's it called? Like when you have to move uh, large amounts of money back and forth constantly. What? Um, like you have to own. No, like like tons yeah. of people. You know, the average person doesn't like directly use their Bitcoin wallet. They use things like Coinbase, which is owned by Microsoft. It's functionally a, a bank and they have yeah, the so same rules. But guess what? They're not the FDIC insured. So and they don't have they, the Bitcoin doesn't have a nation behind it. It has an interesting tech that most people don't understand. If shit starts going down, there's going to be panics. People are going to bail out. And the only people who are going to win out of that situation are the billionaires who currently control all of the Bitcoin exchanges. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll definitely, you know, uh, take it all into consideration. I'll uh, look into it more too. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's good if but... you make money. Seriously, that's great if you make money. But yeah, just don't, yeah. don't, a... don't, don't, don't trick yourself into thinking that like because you made some cash off it or made a lot of cash off of it even that it's going to fix the world. It's not going to like yeah. that's not a, a, a good approach. And it's not all bad too. I mean, uh, again, no, it's not all bad, but I've never with, said it's all bad. I just get yeah, mad. Yeah. I get the mad. technology is, yeah. I think, something to be excited about, too. Sure, uh, of course. I, I I said that explicitly. I've said that many times. I said the tech is really cool. It's super inventive, and I like what potential it could have. But, like, let's be real. Bitcoin has become basically another plaything of Wall Street. And we Bitcoin, pe people who care about the tech should acknowledge that and recognize that as a flaw with the system. And that well, why, it, did, why does that not get as much criticism as the stock market, which is completely controlled and even wait, the fiat Why doesn't dollar, it? Wait, what yeah. do you mean? I mean, uh, how much it's controlled by, you know, large corporations and all that Wait, kind of stuff too. Wait, it does. That's like all, that's like um, one of the central critiques that like, that, that like Marxists brought against, yeah. against so, capitalism was but, that the, the stock market is fucking horrible. It's horrifically unethical and it basically just hides modern slavery behind one layer of, of gambling that millionaires can only access. And yeah, and how is Bitcoin any worse? Especially if, wait, Bitcoin. Uh, everyone, wait, every, Bitcoin isn't worse. It's the same, and that's why it's a mistake for anybody to well, walk in and say, "Oh, I would it's going to save us. It's going to end capitalism." No, it's not. It's I would already say it's been absorbed. Though, I can't buy a share of uh, Google outright, but I can own sure you, you know, can portion portions of Bitcoin. Uh, no, uh, yeah, if I had the starting capital to be able to buy, it. yeah, a full same share thing goes for Bitcoin. You know? Yeah, well, you um, can no, buy a piece of a bit. You can buy a piece of a Bitcoin, but so what? You can buy a penny stock in some other company, or you can buy, or, or you can get. You're more likely. You want to know the best way to get a get get fucking Google stock? Go go and go online and start learning programming. Self teach yourself programming. Four years down the line, get a job with Google, and they're going to give you a fuckload of Google stock right out. You'll save yourself a lot of time, money, and you'll have gainful employment as well. And you can buy fractional sh shares. And not in every company, but in some companies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically exactly oh. the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Except it's not so. a global market, but yeah, anyways, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. I want to, you know, maybe talk about it later. All but, right. Yeah. And, and just so you know, I like, I'm spicy, but I don't fucking hate you or anything, okay? So don't take it. Yeah, sorry. It I wasn't somewhere. prepared for this too, but thank you. Yeah, no, I, no. Yeah. All thank right. you. Bye. No problem. Bye bye. <sighs> All right, we'll spare him. We'll, we'll we'll spare him from the zoo. We won't put him in the zoo. Throatzilla, you don't have to go in the zoo. No zoo for you. Okay, no zoo.